No, no! Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Move the friggin' the Lake County, Florida Republican Headquarters office where we are getting to see the Team Trump tour bus. The dog gets all the attention. Of course. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Yeah. Here we go, Ray. Listen, we want to come and just thank you guys for all the work that you're doing for the president and for the team. You guys know this because you're from Florida. You know how important this state is to the success of the president. And once we win Florida, we're going to be on the glide path. But this is the battleground state. Okay, this is a state that four years ago made sure that Donald Trump and Mike Pence became the president, the vice president of the United States. And we've got a lot of work to do. The Democrats are very motivated. So the fact that you guys are here and are helping us, it's our job to first say thank you, and then secondly, to say we need you to do more. And I, and I mean that. The Democrats are motivated. This president works harder than any human being yeah. in yeah. Idaho. Yeah. Over the last six years, we've seen him work hard, 
for the American people. The last four inside the White House. But we have to make sure we don't turn our country back to where it was under the Obama Biden years. We have to so this tour is really to come and say thank you. We've got an incredible team with us today on the bus. And I'm going to turn it over to Pam, and she's going to talk to you about all the great things the president is doing and how important it is, not just here, but through the state of Florida, that you're voting with the permanent absentee ballots that you guys have. That is the safest system in the country. You guys have been doing it the right way for years. It's very different than what the Democrats want to do, which is just mail a ballot to everybody, like they're doing in Las Vegas, and they're doing it in Nevada, and they're doing all these other states. That's called ballot harvesting. It's ripe for fraud. That's not what takes place here. So let's make sure our people are voting properly in the state of Florida. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much again. And it's, it's, I looked at your pray with me button, and I love that. And then my eyes went up to that. And I, that's one of my favorite pictures. And that speaks volumes right there. And I, I think God's going to play a big hand in this election. So thank you for that. Okay. Oh, God bless you, too. So, President Trump has been working tirelessly, and you know Congress can't get their act together, so what did he do this weekend? He signed an executive order extending unemployment benefits, student loans deferred, evictions, payroll deferred. So, President Trump is doing everything he can. He's working nonstop, and Biden will not come out of his basement. And we say that jokingly, but it's true. He will not come out of his basement. And Corey says, I mean, Corey says the greatest thing about him. He'll do this scripted interview with a friend at some tiny little New Hampshire paper, and then the answers are even scripted. And anything he done, has done has been teleprompted. And that man wants to be our commander-in-chief. And he still messes it up. And he still messes it up every time. And he does, yes. So it's so important, as Corey said, to, to get out there. And I know you are. Thank you all so much for being out there. Because we all, we, we all see it when we're in the White House, when we're in the Oval Office with him, how hard he is working tirelessly every single day for all of you. And, and Eric Trump said yesterday, he needs this job like a hole in the head. Right. And if he's doing it because of his love for the country and the American people. I mean, we see it. I had to live through a fake impeachment trial with him, and it was horrible. Thank you for the job. Yeah. 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 Then they tried to go after General Barr. Yeah. Oh and I, God, I, I think General Moody might want to talk a little bit about law and order, and that's so important, too. So thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah. General. Yeah. I have very, very, very high heels to fill. Well, it is so good to see my friends again. So many of you were close to me throughout the last years, and I'm so grateful and I'm glad that we can come together now to talk about what I believe is the most important issue in America right now, and that is supporting the men and women of law enforcement. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and sits in silence. 
silence by this extreme radical group says dismantle, remove funding police from police. It's insane. It's insane. Very and right. not just as your top cop, not just as the wife of a law enforcement officer, not just as a former prosecutor, but as a mother of a 10-year-old who asks me every day, what's going on in our country? And should we be afraid? I tell him confidently, no, because President Trump has come out, stood up, clearly, confidently, courageously, and said, I will always have the backs of the men and women in the law enforcement. And that we can be afraid. This is the most important issue right now in our country. We need to get every voter out there, Republican, Independent, Democrats in the general, vote President Trump for the safety, security, and continuity of this great nation that we love. Woo! It's so good to be with you today. Let me, let me, let me paint a picture for you, because I'm on the front lines of the radical left right now in the House of Representatives under Nancy Pelosi. It's been two years of nonstop Adam Schiff. We stormed the Skiff, Schiff Skiff, where he was basically trying to impeach our president quiet in in uh, using false classification the impeachment trial, and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. The left has taken over the Democratic Party. We have a situation now where Pelosi and Maxine Waters look modern. This is, I mean, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, and, you know, there's so much speculation right now on who Biden is going to pick for VP. That's not who's going to be running this country. It's going to be Nancy Pelosi. And the squad is running, and, and the squad and AOC are running Nancy Pelosi. So if God help us and God help this country, if we have Biden sitting in the Oval, let me tell you what's going to happen come January. The squad and the progressives are going to say, Nancy, if you want to be speaker again, she only won it by two votes. She barely won it this last time. If you want to be speaker again, here's what you're going to put on Biden's desk. Defunding the police, Medicare for all, which is a government takeover, right? Uh, stacking the Supreme Court, liberal judges, and on and on and on. And he's going to get rid of the filibuster, which means all of that stuff is going to be on a fast track right into law. So I think a lot of times, I'll be honest with you, we kind of laugh off Bernie and we laugh at AOC and and say, give me a break, or Green New Deal, are you kidding? They are very serious. The legislation is written. I've seen it, and it will fly off of Biden's desk right in the law. That's who will be running this country. Let me talk to you a second about these vice president picks. I was on the front lines as a Green Beret when Susan Rice was the national security advisor running our foreign policy. I had to lead the search for Bo Bergdahl that absolutely got our fellow soldiers in Green Berets killed. I'm wearing the bracelet of one of them. And to see her in the Rose Garden with Obama on the Sunday talk shows declaring him a hero that served with honor and distinction is a slap in the face to me, my men, and every veteran out there. Amen. I know that's true. Right? And let's just walk around, let's walk around the world for a minute of what the world would look like. Russia was on the march in Crimea and Ukraine. China on the march in South China Sea, North Korea's missile program ignored, embracing Cuba, embracing socialism, embracing Venezuela, uh, the Syria mess, the ISIS march, host American hostages in orange jumpsuits being beheaded. That's, that's what the world looked like with Susan Rice in charge of our foreign policy, and she's this close to being the Vice President of the United States. So you've got Susan Rice running foreign policy, and Nancy Pelosi and AOC running our domestic policy. Oh. God help us. Right? So if you don't need anything to motivate you to work even harder than you already are, and thank you so much, as Corey said, for the work that you're already doing, we must get that man re-elected. Yeah. I need to walk you through the things from creating a new branch of the military, the Space Force, to record numbers of judges, 
to a new NAFTA trade deal. He has done more in three years despite everything stacked against them. Not even to mention the China Wuhan virus, a global <laughs> pandemic, and the mainstream media, and he's still getting the job done. I mean, we yeah, see it. I see it yeah. all the time. So, listen, I, we have we have two things to settle, I think, in this Biden versus Trump. Who is best positioned to restore this economy to the greatness that we were at just a few months ago? And who, which commander-in-chief will take on the greatest threat that this country's ever faced, and that is in China and the Communist Party there. And I will be damned if I almost die for this country to have our kids, Ashley's kids and others, grow up in a country led by democratic socialists or in a world led by Chinese communists. Hell no. Not on our watch. Not on this president's watch. He is the chief of the next four years. I love you guys. It's, such, it's so amazing for me to be with these great Americans in, uh, in Lake County, in part of my district. And let's keep up the fight. Let's keep up the fight. God bless you. Let's go from there. I'm going to get my mask back. I love these. Can I take you? I didn't see that. I have to get this for Justin. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We're talking about this along the party line. I love it. Can you believe that? Register, register, register. Yeah, switch them over. Fair affection. Switch them over, please. We're working on it. We're working on it. I love it. I love it.